This is 7 News. Tonight, the desperate search for Sam. The two-year-old Lansdale boy with autism. 30 seconds and he was not there anymore. A mother's plea to the driver who hit her son and left him for dead. How two mates walked away from a fiery crash in Langford. And an emotional return to the field for Australia's cricketers. As Dave Warner stands tall in honour of a lost mate. From the studios of Seven Perth, Rick Arden and Susanna Carr. Good evening, welcome to Seven News. We begin tonight with the desperate search for a missing Perth boy. Sam Trott is two and a half years old. He hasn't been seen for more than seven hours. Sam lives with autism, which means he may not respond to calls for his name. Jeff Parry and Kate Smithers are standing by in Lansdale, where the search is being coordinated. But first, Rob Scott begins our coverage. This is Sam Trott, a much-loved little boy, and he's missing. He's very special, two and a half years old, and uh, he's uh, got autism. The toddler disappeared from his Walbrook Muse home around 10.30 this morning, dashing out a door left open by a tradesman. Literally 30 seconds, and he was not there anymore. Within hours of his disappearance, every available police resource was in the Lansdale area, searching for the little boy. The SES and council rangers were also called in to help, combing nearby parks and looking in storm drains. Sam's family say he's unstable on his feet and hope he hasn't gotten far. Check your front yard, check your backyard. Please knock on your neighbours' doors and ask them to check there. As news of the toddler's disappearance spread, the Lansdale community was quick to respond, complete strangers joining the search. I hope that I can find him, because I wouldn't be able to sleep tonight if I can't find him. As the hours tick by, Sam's parents are growing more and more desperate. His dad was there when police divers began searching a lake near his home. You can only imagine the sorts of thoughts that go through your mind, so... Because of Sam's autism, his family say he can be quite passive and won't necessarily answer to his name, which is obviously making this search even more difficult than it already is. We're just hopeful that at this moment he's in somebody's backyard, maybe sifting through a bit of sand or something. As darkness approaches, Sam's parents can't help but fear the worst. Ah! Rob Scott, 7 News. As we've heard, Sam hasn't been seen for more than seven hours. Jeff Parry is outside the family home in Lansdale. And, Jeff, you've been speaking to Sam's parents throughout what's been a difficult day. Oh, absolutely. And understandably, Sue, they're very upset not knowing where their little two-and-a-half-year-old Sam is. Most of the day they've spent at home waking, waiting for news. Sadly, there has been none. Two things will happen now. Police are going to bring in more officers and widen the search area, and they're going to go back over the ground already covered. They will particularly concentrate on the houses around Sam's Walbrook Muse home and nearby streets. And they want local residents to, to look in their own backyards and sheds and even boats. And if they've done that already, to do it again. One of the big concerns now for Sam's parents and the people looking for Sam is there's only an hour or so of daylight left. Night time will make it at a harder search and no one wants little Sam to be out on his own in the dark. Just a reminder that Sam was last seen wearing a blue polo shirt and shorts with a grey stripe. Rick. Thanks, Jeff. As we've just heard, there's just over an hour before the sun goes down tonight. Kate Smithers is at the command post where the search for Sam is being coordinated. And, Kate, what's the plan if Sam hasn't been found before nightfall? Rick, the plan will continue here as per normal with those almost 100 people searching the Lansdale area on foot. However, they will be bringing in torches for them and also setting up lights here on the Oval and at some surrounding parks in the area. Even though it will be nightfall soon, it will actually make the search a bit easier for Polair. Their infrared technology that they have on board that police helicopter will make it easier for them to see little Sam if he is outside rather than during the daytime. And police also want to put a call out to any residents and businesses in the area to please check their security systems. If they do have CCTV and Sam has been seen on it, then it will give them a bit of an indication as to what area the little boy has ran off into. Sue.
seven years, the Pulse of Perth.